Hey, and hello everyone, here we are for the episode number 1 to 3 of Onkai Star Rail. So, let's begin. Just gonna heal up before. There you go. And let's go. It's been a long journey, Elder White. Thank you for your presence. <coughs> General, I brought our guests from the Express. Uh, oh, I'm sorry for my bad timing. I didn't know you were meeting a guest, General. Don't worry, you're just in time. <laughs> it's been a while, my friends from the Astral Express. <laughs> it's true, actually. As well when you have friends coming from afar. Allow me to introduce you to General Wyatt. He's the Arbiter General of the Sienjo Jumi, known as the Flaming Heart. Ooh. <laughs> no need to be so formal. I'm just a tourist here, no different from other tourists who come to attend the ceremony. Elder Hua Yen is not only one of the Arbiter General, but also the Furnace Master of the Artisanship Commission. Besides his martial skills, he excels in forging various weapons. Such talents are unique, even among the Arbiter General. Hmm. Be it Arbiter General or Furnace Master, these are merely titles given to me long ago. I've retired several times already, but current change in circumstances the marshal is called he retired back. seven times have no choice but to answer the call well in the end i'm to blame living such a long life naturally brings its share of disapproval it's, it's an, an honor, honor to meet, meet you general Huayan. it's my honor to meet you general Huayan. Glad to meet you. No need to be all formal. Today I'm just a guest on the law. Same as all of you. So, these three are the ones you mentioned, Jing Yuin? The heroes who helped you at the Ambrosial Arbor Crisis? Indeed. There's Don Hung, March 7th, and him. Without their help, I'm afraid the Law Fu might not have easily overcome this crisis. So, the Imbibator Lune's reincarnation has returned to the Law Fu and will attend the war dance. I'd love to have a drink with you, should the chance present itself. You're more than welcome, General Huaya. And this young friend is... Yan Ching. He remains by my side as my retainer due to his youth, which I hope will season him with experience. He will stand for the Lord of the Knights in the upcoming war dance, ready to take on all kinds of challenges. All right, the three guys. Great! It's a real treat to see so many talented young people around here today. Oh, I almost forgot. This is my apprentice, Yu Li. other guess we don't need any introductions then what a coincidence i was afraid i'd have trouble finding this girl oh now you piqued my curiosity tell me how did you two become acquainted she helped me capture the escaped borison prisoners at the starskip haven allow me to express my gratitude for you. but when you left you took my flying sword with your flying sword? <laughs> oh, so that's why I found a dagger in my bag. Turns out it's yours. Yes, it is. Now that we've met again, I hope... <laughs> no, that won't do. 
won't do? Uh, you want your sword back, right? Well, you can't just take it back. Hmm. On the Juming, when you lose your sword on the battlefield, you have to reclaim it on the battlefield. <laughs> As for this little sword, it was supposed to strike that escaped Boris in prisoner. But unfortunately, its owner's agitated state caused it to fly off like a kite with a broken string, and it missed its target. By the way, if I hadn't caught it and helped it hit its mark, that Boris and prisoner would have gotten away. True. Hold on a second, Lee. You took my sword without even asking, and now you're refusing to give it back? <sighs> so much for Lafu's sword masters. What did you just say? If you just stepped up and took your sword back from me fair and square, <laughs> I would have totally respected you. But nope, you tried to play it down. Expecting me to just hand it back to you like it's nothing. In front of everyone. With all due respect, you don't honor your sword. So you don't deserve it. Hasn't she actually got the point. Without asking is stealing. You want to settle this with swords? Fine. Let's have a one-on-one -on -one duel right now. Yang <laughs> Shing. Well, that's more like it. Just be careful. Because I'm not as easy to handle as the Borison. Uh, you too. Be quiet and apologize to Yen Ching. <laughs> hey! Whose side are you on, Grandpa? I... um... I don't take sides. It's a small misunderstanding. And an apology would be too much. I've heard about the Zhu Ming's incredible swordplay and craftsmanship. Most notably, the legendary Flame Wheel Octet. Seeing Miss Yun Li, who is among those ranks today, well, I must say she definitely has that fiery edge. <laughs> Such grandiose names. Some folks love to spin these fancy titles, trying to set the Cloud Knights apart. Yun Li is still just a young girl. A bit awkward and hot-tempered. So please forgive her. She's being rude. Well, everyone, Elder Hua Yen and I have some business to discuss. For now, Yang Ching, why don't you entertain our guests and take Miss Yun Li to the inn? I'll find another chance to talk with you all. I'd like to express my gratitude to the Astral Express for helping the law food during the crisis. That's so kind of you. Shh. Please forgive me for coming at an inconvenient time. You needn't apologize, General Hoyan. All right, Yun Li. Take this opportunity to clear things up with Yen Ching. Yeah, yeah. It's better to make friends than enemies. But I won't be heading to the inn just yet. I want to visit Ling Sha. She just arrived in the Lafu and could use some help settling in. Yang Ching, once you've helped our guests get settled, you go to the artisanship commission for me. I've heard about the attack and the detainment of the IPC ship. Ching Zhu sent word that the IPC members are protesting and wish to have their cargo back. See if you can calm them down. Don't get aggressive. Just make it clear that the Cienjo Law Fu has no intention of violating their rights. I'm on it. Hmm. Funny little character. Hmm. Yo. This is the report Ching Zhu just sent me. <coughs> Let me take a look. Hmm. Huh. Looks like the general has given me a tough challenge. He wants me to try and help put the IPC's mind at ease. Then do it. Well, it's not exactly a test. As Cloud Knight officers, we not only learn the art of war and martial arts, but also occasionally have to handle diplomatic disputes. It's just, you know, 
Talking things out isn't as straightforward as duking it out with weapons on the battlefield. This is especially true when you're up against the IPC. Their non-stop corporate battle. <sighs> well, let's not worry about that for now. Shall I take you to the inn? Mm hmm It is the law whose honor to have you in attendance at the warden. Yet, the fact that a simple martial arts ceremony has attracted esteemed generals from the Zhu Ming and the Yao Qing implies intentions beyond mere spectators. Might there be any specific instructions from the marshal? You're overthinking it, Jin Yuen. As I said, I'm here to broaden my granddaughter's horizons. I have no ulterior motives. However, I have no clue what the Yao Qing Arbiter General has in mind. He opened his eyes, finally. accepted this position. I told you. Arbiter General's battlefield goes beyond the physical world. You'll need to lead and manage everything on the Sienjo. The title of Arbiter General holds a weight far greater than its literal meaning. So many years have passed, and you've done well. However, longevity for the Sienjo people can be a curse. Living too long means that every mistake you made will lurk in the shadows. And one day, I'll eventually catch up to you. The Marshal knows everything that has happened on the Long Road. As for the Merlin's claw of the Yao Qing, she has come specifically for you. Hmm. Speaking of which, she must want something. She they say the Merlin's claw strikes like lightning. Being late isn't her style. That's not true, General Hua Yan. She's been here a while, but I'm sure you've heard of her unbridled nature. As soon as she disembarked from the Star Skiff, she mentioned having something to attend to. And mm. This one looks cool. And this one's gonna be the next five star, I think. You must be the messengers from the Sienjo Yao Qing, I assume. We are Jiao Cho and Moza, retainers yeah, of the Claw. It's an or whatever that it's said. Person, Arbiter Generals. Hmm. Now this is interesting. A guest who doesn't come to visit but sends a message instead. Hmm. What does she mean? Master heard about a spectacular view in Scale Gorge Waterscape. I believe she went there to enjoy it. A spectacular view? Ha! Did you hear that, Jin Yuen? This person is being sarcastic. Please do not misunderstand me, General Hua Yan. I was simply stating the truth. Master thought it would be inappropriate to keep you waiting, so she sent us here. Once she's finished with admiring the scenery, she'll personally come and apologize to the both of you. This guy, Mose, apparently. Yeah, if you look at him and the rest of the Wofu, he feels like a Wofu character without feeling like a Wofu character. It's kind of weird to explain, but... That's the... feeling, maybe. General's interference, I would have taught that shameless girl a lesson in sword play. Uh, by the way, I don't know if it's just me, but the general seemed a little reserved. Could it be because of Elder Wyan's visit? Reserved? Really? Oh, he acted just natural. Uh, maybe I'm just overthinking things. No, you're not. When I entered the Palace of Astrum, 
I realized that the messenger from the Xianzhou Zhu Ming was actually the Arbiter General himself. So, the messenger from the Xianzhou Yao Qing must be the Merlin's Claw herself, I presume. Hmm. That's right. Well, that's what makes this entire thing so unusual. Three generals. What's so unusual about it? They simply received an invitation from Jing Yuan, just like the crew. The war dance is just a small festival. And now we have two Arbiter Generals from other Xianzhou ships here. I'm afraid they're here for something more. Huh. Maybe they've come to hold Jing Yuan accountable for the Ambrosial Arbor Crisis? Hold him accountable? Come on, didn't the Law Fu fall victim to the disciples of Sanctus Medicus and the Antimatter Legion? Why would they blame the victim? Don Shu's rebellion and Ventilia's scheming are merely one side of the story to the other Arbiter Generals of the Alliance. Only a single piece of incontrovertible evidence remains, creating an endless source of potential complications. The Ambrosial Arbor. Yes. It's undeniable that the plague mark, which was subdued by the Xianzhou Lo Fu, has resurfaced. But was it really a conspiracy instigated by the Antimatter Legion? Mm. Or does it indicate a traitorous intent from within the Lo Fu? Implicating Jing Yuan himself. Would be stupid if you know the character, the but the spark of suspicion is kindled. It proves hard to extinguish. Yeah, that's true. The general must have had that in mind when he invited us to attend the war dance. Ah, uh, what was I thinking? Seriously. Ah, uh, I was so excited. I thought those arbiter generals were just here to see the ceremony. Yeah, sure. By the way, I heard that an alchemist from the Juming diplomatic ship is arrived. And rumors say that she's to be the new cauldron master of the alchemy commission on the Lafu. What? She can. They can the just from the train. Jing serving as the cauldron master on the local. Exactly. Well, it's not unheard of. The timing itself. Yeah, yeah I kind of weird. Words, Mr. Don Hung. Now I finally see the underlying tensions. The general is under tremendous pressure right now. I was completely oblivious to his troubles. Ugh, how naive of me. Ah, uh, come on! Don't think like that. Leave the adult matters to the adults. Even if you wanted to do something Obviously she's just a feeler. Uh, did I say something? Of course. Miss March is right. I don't have the skills to share the general's burdens at the moment. Still, I'll do my best to follow his instructions. My god, she's awful. Let's go. Once I've taken you to your accommodations, I need to go to the artisanship commission to handle the IPC's pro uh, he looks like he has a lot on his mind. We can't just let him go alone. Uh, oh, uh, this is too much trouble. While Let kindness, him grow and do things. She's talking for both of us too, by the way. Why can't we enjoy? Can I really reason with you, CM Joe people? I think I get it now. And you're but I oh, him again. That toxic voice sounds familiar. <sighs> Haven't I heard it before in Arum Alley? Yeah, I was about to say that exactly. On the quest, this guy was just lying left and right and just trying to accuse Orum Valley about things that never happened and it's just bullshit, full of shit. An idiot character, uh, made to be hated, like in movies and games, it's normal. But the fact that they bring him means that the IPC didn't fire him, not even a downgrade or anything. Sure. 
sure. We kicked your ass. Fair and square, by the way. By his own rules. Just as I've said it many times already. Once we've inspected the cargo and completed the security check, you can be on your way. Is there something wrong with your ears, or is it just your brain? I'm hearing Both. you loud and clear. I'm thinking clear, and my answer is crystal clear. Not a chance. It's just dumb. My cargo and I'll file a complaint directly with your general. About what? That's the rules. That he approved. You jerk! Who are you calling a dog? Wait. Why are you here? Staying on the Sienjo, are you? What terrible luck! Wherever you go, disasters aren't far behind. Well, it's more of the opposite, but. I get a gas from the Astral Express. Okay. What brings you and Yanqing to the Artisanship Commission? Let's not say this. Scott is an idiot, but the rest of the IPC isn't. So They're trouble. trouble? No, it's me. I'm the one in trouble. I hate him. Like you've met this IPC worker before. <laughs> I'm not sure About this way, it's a bad thing. thing. I was sent here to deal with the IPC protest, Nishikwe. What's going on here? <sighs> As you know, this IPC transport ship was attacked by the Borison and rescued by the Juming's diplomatic ship. Right. Then the Cloud Knights were instructed to bring it back to the dock for repairs and inspections. Eh, on top of all, the person in charge of this transport ship. On top of all, this moron is getting his ship repaired. Remain a quick reminder: the IPC was just passing by, then got attacked, and now boom, Luofu. Right? They got the ship repaired for free. Or something like that. And he's just complaining about no, you cannot see that. He's probably adding something again. And it's Mr. Scott, the person in charge of this, unfortunately. And why why? At least don't let him come close to the Luffo again. He was problematic and we just Didn't they report him to the IPC by the way? On the Aurum Valley? Missions? Weird. So you're Scott. I've heard him mention you. Weren't you kicked off the Lafu before? Why did you come back? Like I wanted to come back. I thought I'd just dock at the harbor for repairs and leave this forsaken place for good. Little did I know, as soon as the ship entered the harbor, a bunch of cloud knights showed up and snatched all our cargo from the No, they warn you. What do you mean by snatched? I told you there a you go. Times. It's a security check. Then why did you bring the cargo to the Artisanship Commission? You even brought in some shady craftsmen. It's obvious you're trying to steal the IPC's patented technology. Listen here. Firstly, the Skyfaring Commission detected dangerous items that could possibly be weapons in your cargo hold. That's why they called me here to double check. Secondly, where the heck did you get the idea that I'm a shady craftsman? It's funny because both Scott and those two are from side missions, so if you only did the main missions, you don't get the references about this. She's from Orm Valley, if I'm not wrong, and he, you help him because um, he's a student, master stuff, whatever. It's just the missions, I'm not going to spoil. Even if there are dangerous items, what do they have to do with you? It's not even being shipped to the law, fool. We'll just fix the ship and be on Illegally transporting we weapons cargo here. is a problem for you. But you'll have to stay in the port for several days before your ship is repaired and you can take off again. How can we just leave unchecked items sitting here? Mm-hmm. I understand. But we don't need to disassemble the cargo if it's just a security check. Right? Exactly. It's just open the doors Jesus, and watch. We don't. However... Our scans discovered that the cargo doesn't only contain machinery, but also some substance that resembles biological tissue. Uh oh. Biological tissue? Hmm. Does this crate contain living things? Sus. I'm afraid we'll need to wait for the Alchemy Commission for further confirmation. In any case, according to our regulations, we need to unseal one of the crates for further examination. 
this IPC specialist has been my ass on the grounds of patent secrecy. The Alliance's regulations on biological products are very strict. Without further inspection, there is no way for the Sky Faring Commission to release the cargo. Oh, really? Fine! If anyone lays a finger on that shipment, they'll have me to deal with. It doesn't matter if it's mechanical or biological. It's none of your business. I'm filing a complaint against the Sky Faring Commission's ridiculous regulation. Is just on the legal shit for sure. Stubborn and difficult to persuade. Honestly, I really don't want to have a vicious confrontation with the IPC. <laughs> I heard how you helped Aram Ali. The IPC represents. Oh, it's Ali. It's not Valley. Yeah, I remember now. My bad. Sorry. Since you've dealt with them before, it looks like I'll have to rely on you again. What are you guys whispering about over there? Just hurry up and give us back our cargo. Debates, I don't like them, but... Oh, no. With debates, before, you... Could do them as many times and try literally everything without punishment. Now it doesn't seem to be this way since there is a point system. Of negotiation, your morale is higher. Then are equal to your opponents. Let's see, failure, okay. Their part, this morale drop to zero, negotiation immediately ends. Negotiation choices will lead different outcomes, which can either increase or decrease your morale. As you make choices, negotiation progress to the number of negotiations to zero, okay. Twitch point, negotiation ends, and I believe the higher wins. Negotiation, you can use negotiation strategies to play various negotiations. Okay. Here you can view your opponent's information. If you're not sure what to choose, click to view. As I recall, this guy won't listen to reason and can only be persuaded with intimidation. But he does seem to follow rules to some extent. Let's use that against him. Hmm. Speaking of regulations, we have our own laws and regulations, too. According to Article 4 mm -hmm. of the Cienjo Alliance IPC trade consensus, the Alliance and IPC shall never infringe on each other's intellectual property rights. Okay. Peaks in the week, but fears are powerful. APC is Let's pull this rule thing and see how much can he hold. It's not gonna make anything. It's not gonna make anything. Since there are a lot of people, this might work. That is the smartest one. But let's begin with this one to see. Oh, I didn't expect to see you again, Mr. Scott. <laughs> we had such fun in Arum Alley last time. It seems our paths are destined to cross once more. I love this one. Stop pretending we're friends. If I could actually beat you, I'd punch you in the face. Sure, try. Are you guys gonna resolve this problem? Or are you just gonna Bad choice, by the way. Put on a show here? Let's just pretend we don't know him, Don Hung. <clears throat> Even if we set aside the secrecy of intellectual property, these prototypes built by the Intelligentsia Guild are incredibly valuable, beyond your wildest imagination. If anything goes wrong, you won't be able to pay for it even with your lie. But we are not gonna damage it. <laughs> I want this. That won't work, it's just gonna take over. I'm not sure how good this one is. I want to click on this one. This one's just useless. Between 4 and 2. 2. Don't underestimate Cienjo technology. Even if they need to dismantle your cargo, the Artisanship Commission can easily put it back together. 
What the fuck, man? That's bullshit. Naturally, I need to be responsible for the integrity of every piece of cargo. I didn't think about that. Besides, cargo on this transport vessel belongs to the Intelligentsia Guild. If you want to inspect the cargo, shouldn't you at least call in a member of the Intelligentsia Guild to be present? So, ratio, run my scroll or more hurt. Uh, hmm. Again, that would be a reasonable one to go, but... No, whatever, I'm already fucked, so... Since the Intelligentsia Guild entrusted the cargo to the IPC for transportation, it's the IPC's responsibility to ensure its safety, right? Why would you need a member of the Intelligentsia Guild to be present? <laughs> Let me tell you something. Stated in Article 17 of the IPC's Building Material Logistics Department Transport Agreement Law, mm -hmm. subsequent to the dispatch of goods and during their transit, all risks, save for those pertaining to the transportation safety, shall be the sole liability of the consigner. Mm -hmm. I thought about that, but well, okay. Only protect the integrity of the goods and prevent anyone with ill intentions from as for whether the cargo itself poses a security threat to the destination. That's not our responsibility. Can I just skip this All fucking right, thing and punch not, him? I'm not going to repeat myself a hundred times. I thought you were reasonable and civilized, but now it seems you see it. We've signed a confit listen up, kid. Oops. I don't mind delaying this transport for a few more days. Once the engines are repaired, our ship will leave immediately. And you won't have any reason to inspect the cargo. If that's the case. I can assure you the Cloud Knights won't let your ship leave. Oh, really? <laughs> then you'll receive a ton of complaints from the Intelligentsia Guild and the IPC's Marketing Development Department. You're too young. I don't think you understand the chaos your rash decision will cause. Hmm. Since you put it that way... That phase of negotiation was just stupid. agreement to the inspection procedure. Now... Ah, not so fast, you little brat. According to the IPC regulations, I have the right to arm myself and protect the property on my transport ship. I thought you were reasonable and civilized, but now it seems the IPC just wants to play... Stop it, guys! For the Amber Lord! What? For the Amber Lord! You sure you want to do this? He just... Step on the only thing... He, it, like, that, uh, you had one thing you couldn't do. There was no, s there would be no sense for you to do. Was attacking us. You pulled the fucking trigger. He was ahead of this whole time until now. And now that your guard is down, what the fuck are you gonna do? How do you IPC cronies have the audacity to fight Cloud Knights? You Another one? <sighs> I may be a bit late, but the good news is, I'm here now. Not recognize the voice. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Lingsha, huh. Cauldron Master and Head of the Alchemy Commission on the Law Food. Could she be? Yeah. She's the new cauldron master assigned here from the Sienjo Juming. Hmm. I received a report from the Artisanship Commission about cargo containing samples of unknown organisms. It said they needed help from the Alchemy Commission. I had nothing better to do, so I came myself. Hmm. It's fine, Mr. Scott. If you really don't want your cargo to be inspected, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter? How can you? Why are you being so nice all of a sudden? Hmm? Well, since you're not going to check it, I'll take this crate and be on my way. Is that okay with everyone? Yeah, sure. Why should I object? 
Not only this sample, but all the goods on the transport ship are yours to keep. Like I said, we won't inspect them. Wait a minute! Well, that's more like it. If only the young displayed a more reasonable attitude, we could have sidestepped What's up our sleeve? just now. Our ship will leave in a few days once the engines are repaired. No. Not anymore your then. Ship can leave whenever you want. But I'm afraid I can't say the same for your cargo. According to the import and export regulations signed between the Sienjo and IPC, all biological shipments can only leave the port when they have confirmed to be of no threat. Or when all biological activity expires. Since we can't determine if your shipment is safe for the environment, I guess we'll have to wait for its biological activity to expire. Let me check the previous cases. Normally, it'll only take around 47 star calendar years. <laughs> only 47 years? Why so surprised? You're still young <laughs> and full of energy. I'm pretty sure you'll live a few more decades. Have some confidence in yourself. Ha! Typical of a long life species. Your words are dripping with sarcasm. While you may not care about time, I do. I'll be demanding double compensation from the Skyfaring Commission for every minute wasted. Mm hmm. Sure thing, Mr. Scott. You seem pretty confident that your career and life will last long enough to witness this victory unfold. Step aside, guys. Let them do the inspection. Hmm. What? Mr. Scott! Come on, we're already in enough trouble. Just let them do the security inspection. And if needed, I can always grovel before the Intelligentsia Guild later. I'm just using my head for what it's apparently good for, right? <laughs> Let's put some salt. Well, honestly, at least you're not as annoying as that woman. Bro, just do the inspection. Unlike you. Is this the IPC product? Uh, listen up. Any damages caused by inspections will be filed with the IPC. <laughs> what in the fuck? Well, there's gonna be some damage after all. Like it with their grip. It's fucking like attacking. What's in this spell? Oh, it when an ally is inflicted with their grip, attacking the caster of their grip can. With like once can this spell. Okay. If the caster of their grip is not attacked, to this spell. Okay. So it's like a CC if I don't attack the CC applier. The dice have been cast. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. Oh, how unexpected. That was a surprise. Just in time. Uh -huh. Relax. Ill tidings men. You won't get away. I have something for you. No dirty tricks on this. Hey, it took no damage. Stand still. I see that from dots. It does. Beautiful. Oh. 
don't think trying to shift the blame is a wise choice. But seriously, I don't know why that thing suddenly started moving. Mm -hmm. yeah. Miss Shikwe, please escort our IPC guest to the Skyfaring Commission. I'm on it. Please follow me. Retard. Gentlemen, our preliminary inspection shows that there is indeed hidden biological tissues inside. Just like the craftsman feared. I can't even tell if it's ingenium or biological in nature. The core of this device is what they call wetware in industry slang. To put it simply, this machine operates with a kind of biological nerve as its control center. What? So a machine with a brain kind of thing? I'll take some samples for the alchemist to analyze and figure out where the biological tissue comes from. Why would the intelligentsia guild use such unethical technology? Perhaps they're trying to create a new weapon? Whatever the reason well, not try, but... Why the Borison attacked a ship. No wonder the IPC well, is trying to obstruct our inspection. I'll contact the Ten Lords Commission and ask the judges to come and give their final verdict on this. According to our rules, all prisoners and weapons involving dangerous creatures must be taken to the Shackling Prison for further sentencing. After all, it's the safest place on the Lafu. As for you, Mr. Craftsman, please go with the Cloud Knights and explain the situation to the judge. Good job. The guy was looking confident, so now there he is. I had a feeling that the IPC members would cause trouble, but I didn't think they'd be this tricky. Thanks for your help, Miss Lingsha. I should thank you for saving my life. Your sword skills were impressive. Taking down that big guy. I thought the general's retainers were all burly martial masters. I didn't expect Yenching to be so. Argue with that. As for you, you must be the guests from the Astral Express, right? Saving the Lafu from that crisis. It's so impressive. <laughs> it's still early, so why don't we get some tea at the Alchemy Commission? We can discuss your suggestions for revitalizing the commission. I should stop skipping. Uh, I'd be happy to accept your invitation. And you three are coming Just in to case. Me, right? But please let me finish my episode. Thank you. <laughs> Anyways. Guys. <sighs> Thank you one more time for being there with me for another episode. I know guys Star Rail. We see each other for the next one. Until then, consider leaving a comment. A like on the video if you like it or dislike it if you didn't. But never forget about it. Stay the way you are. You're amazing. And see you guys.